Hello guys, Alex the Grand Prix here today. I hope you're well. I got episode three for you on the cover on the bottom ball joint replacement. Uh, so as you can see, I got the new bit here now, and uh, it's located behind the disc at the bottom there. So the old one, the seal is split and also it's dry. Uh, so that ball joint is not good now. So like I say, I got the new unit. I've also replaced the top one that you might have seen in episode two. Uh, there was a bit of a complicated job, but we got there in the end. Uh, so like I said, the bottom one, I think it looks is going to be an easier job. I'm still going to have an issue with the spring pressure, but I'm going to use the jack again just to release the pressure so I can get the uh, bottom part of the hub off the ball joint to replace it. Uh, so I'm going to start by cleaning the old one so everything comes off easier and then obviously fitting the new one on. And I'm going to take you through all the steps now, guys. Right guys, so here we've got the bottom ball joint and the seal. Uh, so it's held in by the nut, you can see at the top there. This is the greasing point as well. Um, and then this one is held by two bolts sitting on the side. I know some of them actually got rivets on the sides, uh, the original ones. I think this one might have been replaced already. So I got one bolt coming from the side and you also got the other one there as well on this side. And you can see under them uh, there's a nut holding them in and there is a big nut at the bottom which is split pin sitting there holding it uh, so we're going to need to clean all of that off and also like on the top bottom joy, uh, top ball joint there is a pressure of the spring when you're doing them so I have to be careful with that part as like I said I'm doing one at a time Usually if you're doing both of them, it's just a lot easier if you remove the whole hub off and then you just get space to work on both of them in the same time. But I'm trying to show you how to do one at a time, as you might only need to do one. So what we have to do is squeeze the bottom arm up um, to gain enough space. So the bottom ball joint will come out of the hub. I will explain it in a bit what I'm doing the job, what I mean now. Um, so yeah, let's start by cleaning everything off. I'm going to clean up as much as I can now, just to get the worst off. Right, I can see already that that greasing nipple is going to be in the way, so I'm going to take that off. That's better. Right, so now we've got the pin to remove. Try and get it as straight as you can before you start pushing it out. So like I said guys, we're going to hit it there now, now that the nut is back on. Uh, this is like I said, just to release the thread in the hub. Pretty sure that should do it. We're not going to see it now because obviously the spring is pushing it all the way down. So once we got the pressure off the spring with the jack, that should be free now. One thing before compressing the bottom arm, so the spring obviously moves, uh, I would do is undo them slightly. As you can see, that one was already loose. That's how it come in. 
but on the modern cars I will undo it so release a bit of pressure on the rubber so both sides you got one in there and the other one there as you can see that one there so we'll undo that loosen up just a little bit and obviously don't forget to do it up when we're done with the job right guys so after heating it it didn't completely release it so what I have to do now is remove completely the whole pressure off of it using the jack so I'm gonna jack it up there so the pressure off is off the spring now you can see there's a little gap still left there so all I have to do is now is hit it with the hammer there and that should release it now so I'm gonna try it now There you go that went down as you can see there's no gap now so that released it um, so I'm happy with that at least I know that will come out now now I can carry on with the rest removing everything else right so I'm using the jack to release the pressure of the spring uh, now first I'm gonna do both side bolts that hold it in place I'm gonna undo them first and then I'm gonna jack it up a bit more and then I can remove the nut and the top one as well and hopefully it will come out so let's just get these bolts out first stay half inch So we got the bolt, little washer, and the nut. I've undone the other side as well. Right, guys. So like I said, both of them side ones are out. I'm gonna now jack it up a little bit more. Right guys, I know it's a bit too late for me now, but I just want to let you know, I think I might have um, made it a little bit difficult for myself by not removing the link, as you're going to see in the video. Uh, I did the job without removing it, but I think uh, after, obviously I finished the job, I tried. I think it might make it slightly easier if you remove the link, because then you're not fighting against the bar there when you're compressing the arm. Uh, but it's still going to be hard and obviously like i said make sure please that you're careful when you're compressing it because there's a lot of resistance in that spring and like i said i've carried on doing it with the link there and i did try compressing it without the link and to be honest it didn't make that much difference and in my mind i kind of justified that having the link there holding the arm to the bar is kind of extra safety in case something goes wrong here it's still gonna try and hold the arm together so the spring doesn't just go ballistic so correct me if I'm wrong guys, but I think it's not going to make that much difference, but I just wanted to give you an advice that it might make your job slightly easier if you remove it. Uh, so please comment below guys and let me know what you think about this. Uh, but yeah, you're going to watch me carrying on with obviously the link on there. So I'm sorry about that if it's wrong. So like I said, we need to jack it up to remove the pressure of the spring. As you can see, there's quite a lot of force on there. So you have to be very careful when you're doing this part. Because obviously the spring's going to, once we're undone and out, the spring's going to try and push the arm off. Right, so now that the pressure is off, you should be able to hit it to release it again. There you go, that released it. So technically now if we undo that nut at the bottom, that should come out. Like I said, be very careful when you're doing this step. There's a lot of pressure there. So we got the nut off. Now if we press it in more it 
should be able to come out. As you can see, the whole hub is loose now. Right guys, so I got to this stage, um, it wouldn't let go enough, the spring won't compress enough unfortunately for it to come out. So what I have to do now is, at this stage, you either undo this knot and let it drop down a little bit from there, it will be enough to come out, let the hub slide off of there, or what you can do is use a bar, get the bar, in there and what you're doing pretty much is you're pulling down on the top arm you'll push it down more because you can't really physically do it with your hands while trying to get it out there unless you've got someone helping you so if you can see it drops down more and then the hub will come out so I'm going to show you I just want to show you where I'm getting the bar uh, to pull the arm down so I'm going to film it from the other direction while I'm holding on the bar right guys so like I said I got the bar in place now pull it on the arm down and as you can see that was enough to drop it down and to move the arm up enough so you can get that off as you can see all I have to do now is just pull the hub to the side and then do that knot Lovely. That's the ball joint out finally. Right, so now we're ready to do a bit of cleaning, guys. And also, when I was hitting that, it created a little bit of lip there. So I'm going to file that off slightly. So this is just to avoid any damage or even cutting your hand. And so you can see that the knot goes on after evenly as well. Yeah, that feels much better. As you can see guys, I'm just using a little bungee there just to pull the hub out of the way. So it gives me enough room to work on it. Makes my life a lot easier. I'm also going to make it easier to fit the new one that I'm going to be doing now. So as you can see, I cleaned it up a little bit. And I think we're ready now to fit the new ball joint in. Right. We've got nut and the squashable washer at the top. Just got it rightfully in place. And I got the old nut and bolt with the washer that I'm going to reuse. I'm just going to clean the thread up a little bit on them. There you go, that's much better. Good. Well, that fits in perfectly. So get the washer on and start the knot. I'm going to start it slightly and then do it up later once I got that out of the way. Same on this side. This is mainly so I got it in place and it's secure. Stops the ball joint from moving. Got that all different now. Right, so I can do that 19 up now.
Yep, that was definitely tight now. I think now we're ready to push the top arm down again so we can get the hub back on. Guys, I just wanted to mention uh, that don't forget if you cleaned it like I did um, to the metal, don't forget to apply some grease or some anti-corrosive uh, product on there so it kind of stops it for, from corroding. I will be doing under sealing as well, so this is just for now. So I will be applying proper under seal product on there to stop corrosion and doing the rest of the car as well. But I just wanted to let you know in case you're just doing that job. So you just put a little bit on there. Uh, it does help. Right guys, slap problem here. Um, I've missed out a little bit. Uh, so this ball joint, the thread, or the actual thread that goes down there, is longer than the original one. So this is pretty much, this whole bit is extra. So just pushing pushing the top arm down is not enough anymore. Um, so I'm going to end up getting the split pin out and undoing the nut on the top. So like I said, well, I was kind of avoiding to do. I have to do it now. But I suppose it's a good thing we got the new one on there. So I know it's going to come off easily. So I'm just going to remove the split, split pin and do that nut just enough. I'm not going to take it completely off. I'm just going to do it enough so it drops it low enough to get that in and then carry on okay so i got the pin out i'm just gonna do it enough like i said to, to drop it down there's not a lot left on there hopefully that will be enough There you go. Right guys, so I released a little bit of pressure. As you can see, it went in. So now I can start doing up the top nut and that should start lifting it up slightly. And then in the end, once everything is safe, I'm gonna release the jack. So I'm just going to do this nut up. Right, that's tight enough for now. So as you can see, that's going on now. If I release the pressure on the jack, uh, it should be enough to drop it down. So I can start the thread. Let's just try and release it slightly. There you go. So that looks good. Uh, I think I'm going to release it a little bit more. Just move the camera slightly out of the way before I drop the car on top of it. So release it a bit more. There you go. Now we can start the nut up. Lovely. That's good. So everything's secure now. Now we can do this one up. Don't forget we have to fit the split pin in there. That's tight enough. So now I can remove the jack completely. Right guys, so we're back up in the air now. Uh, now I have to do up the top nut there and put the split pin in. Uh, the same at the bottom there, I can do it up now completely and fit the split pin in. The top nut is already done up. Now I need to do the side ones up as well. Both of them bolts and nuts. And now don't forget, um, we have to do them up as well. The ones that we undone uh, before pressing it in to cause a bit less stress. So technically you should do them up when the wheels are on the ground. So it's in the rest position. That's when you should do them up. That's how you do it on the modern cars. 
So I'm going to apply the same technique on this as well. Once the vehicle is done on the floor, I'm going to try and get to them and do them up. Right, do the top one first. So that's done up. See, yeah, the pins aligned as well. I can go back in. So this is the same what we've done when we've done the top ball joint. Now I just have to open it up. Not gonna go anywhere now. Same at the bottom now. I've done it up till it's tight, and the hole is located correctly. I can fit the split pin in. Open it up. Lovely, that's safe as well. All we got left is them. Just to give you the better view. Both of them done up now. Right guys, so here we are. The job is done now. We got the new bottom ball joint installed. Uh, we got the new top one that we've done in the previous episode. Uh, so I'm pretty sure the ball joint part of the vehicle is done now because all the others look fine. The other side got no issues with them. I also had a look at the old ball joint. Uh, obviously the seal is split now, but I think it has been split before as well because there's a sign of a silicon or something similar that obviously uh, someone used to close the holes they had before. But it does feel rough. It has got play in it. Uh, so I think it was the right decision to replace it and we got there in the end. I mean, please be careful when you're doing this job, guys. I know there's different ways of doing it. I mean, I've dropped the, the car lift with the vehicle all the way down so that the wheels are on the floor while I was using the jack to jack it up uh, because you're dealing with quite a lot of pressure of that spring. So I've tried to be as safe, as careful as I can. So please be careful while you're doing this, guys, and follow all the steps. Uh, but yeah, like I said, the job is done, guys. Thank you very much for watching this video. If this is something you're interested in, then please subscribe and like my videos. Also comment below to let me know what you think. And I'll see you soon, guys. Have a good day. Bye.